hello youtube welcome back to my channel so in today's tutorial we're going to go over a, a simple machine learning or a data science project so we're going to be classifying a wine data set using a k nearest neighbor algorithm so the knn algorithm to classify wine data okay so this video is a is a bit not for beginners so i'm not going to explain the fundamental concepts of machine learning and data science so if you're new to machine learning and data science consider checking uh, my series on machine learning and data science okay and, and if you don't have the uh, the tools already installed because in this tool i consider you have this tool the library such as numpy pandas uh, Seaborn and matplotlib installed if you don't have those installed i have a whole series on uh tutorial on how to install that so check that up in the description link is in the description okay so if you if you are new to my channel consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my youtube channel and uh yeah let's get started so let's i'm going to go ahead and first import uh pandas as a pd i'm going to go ahead and also import um numpy as a np and i'm going to uh from sklearn i'm going to import uh I'm going to import data sets just like that and i'm going to run that code so now that we have that i'm going to load in the wine data set we're going to call it wine and it's going to be uh it's going to be data uh sets dot uh load underscore uh wine just like that and then pass that in there so we have load the wine data set so i can just print it out so i can see how uh, we have this the wine data set and you can go ahead and actually read all the data sets so this data set comes with uh, a circuit or uh, a library already installed so you don't have to do anything to get this data set okay so that you can see that this is in a dictionary format now i don't want this in a dictionary format so i'm going to go ahead and actually put in this in form of uh, pandas data set so i'm going to have a data frame and i'm going to call it as my pd dot uh, dot uh, data frame and I'm going to now specify the, the, the data that I want. So the data is going to be, uh, uh, so this is going to be course and it's going to be data. I'm going to look for this data field. So this data field is what I want. And then I'm going to specify the columns. So I'm going to say columns. So let me get the spelling of columns correct. So it's going to be uh, wine. And then I'm going to get the column, uh, the, the, the columns data, which is going to be features, feature underscore names. Uh, names just like that so feature names is you can see it's right here so feature names is this so that's what i'm, I'm trying to uh, get access to so i'm just going to go ahead and actually run this code and then i'm going to now give uh this uh, let me do the let me just do df and you can see we have that data frame that the data frame right here so you can see this data frame does not have the label but it only has the features to define uh, to describe a certain wine so let's go ahead and actually load the date the the data label here so we can have the label for that data so i'm going to say um, I'm going to say df. I'm going to say target. So the target is going to be uh, equals to uh, wine. And then I'm going to get the target. So I'm going to get the target column. So target. And then I'm going to now run this again. So if I come down here and I do, let me just do a df. Df and uh, df dot head. Uh, sorry, let me just. I got a typo there. So df dot uh, head. And if I run this code, you can see. Uh, let me just scroll this so you can see I have the label now this side so I have the label and the different features about our uh, wine data set so now let's go ahead and begin to uh, get a bit of description of details let's check the shape of the data set so we have a uh, 178 rows and uh, 14 uh, 14 columns including the labeled column for the classification right this target column so uh, basically we have uh 13 features for the for the wine and then uh, the one feature is going to be for the target of the labeled target uh okay so now that we have that i'm going to check if you have any uh, missing values so i'm going to do df dot is na dot is sum and then dot sum and then run that and this can show uh, show me that i have no missing data again i have this whole tutorial on pandas so if you want to check my t my pandas tutorial out the link is going to be in the description i'm going to keep a card here so you guys can have access to the uh to the pandas course okay to the panda series rather so now that we have that there let's go ahead and, and split our data into training and testing data set so we, because our data it looks okay and we don't have any missing values so we can go ahead and actually split this into training and testing set so i'm just going to scroll up here and i'm going to import it from here so i'm going to say uh from sklearn dot uh, model underscore selection import uh this is going to be import I'm going to go ahead and import the train underscore test underscore split so train test split and i'm going to go ahead and import that so i'm going to come here and i'm going to uh, simply let me just create a simple markdown here so i'm going to create uh, this uh, press this side and then press m and then that will give you a markdown cell so i'm going to call test uh train uh split 
and just call it test then split or you can call it anything you want it's just uh, something for us to know where we are so now that we have that i'm going to now go and get x and the y column so the x is going to be the df and then the y is going to be the x dot pop uh i'm just going to be the x dot uh pop and i'm going to pop the target okay i'm going to pop the target column so target and then i'm going to run that so if i do x and then x dot head just like that you can see i have this here and i thought i don't have is a target because i have popped up the target at the y column so i can just go ahead and actually do this i can check uh, uh x dot uh x dot uh shape now if i do shape you can see i have 178 columns and row sorry rows and uh, 113 columns because we removed the target column by popping it up here so great so now that we have that let's go ahead and uh, we can also check y y y dot head if you want uh, y dot head and then if you run this you can see that's the y dot head which can give you this simply the target we can also get the unique if you want to check how many unique classes we have so we can do unique uh just like that and run, run this you can see we have three different unique classes of wines so great so now that we have that let's go ahead and split our data now so i'm going to go x underscore train and then x underscore tests and then going to y underscore train and then y underscore test is going to be equals to the uh it's going to be equals to train underscore test uh train test split underscore to yeah, train text split and then i'm going to pass in here the x the y and then i'm going to specify the 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 test size so i'm going to test underscore size and you're going to say i'm just going to leave to be i'm going to use uh, 20 percent for testing and 80 percent for training just for you to get be able to guys for you to be able to repeat this experiment or this uh, process i'm going to give it a random of uh, 55 or whatever uh, 55 let me just specify so use randoms or uh, random state of 55 and that should be fine so now that you have split our data i can go x underscore train dot uh x train dot shape let me check how many we are using for training so we're going to using 140 uh 140 42 rows for training and i can do x uh underscore test dot shape and you're going to use 13 uh, uh sorry 36 columns uh sorry 36 rows for testing our data so now that we have that uh, later on you're going to go ahead to improve this value to find the best value on which to use our test for the best value to, to split the data on for the testing values okay so now that we have that let's go ahead and actually make uh train our model so i'm going to just say uh i'm going to say here uh, simply uh train uh classifier so i'm going to say train classifier i need to create our classifier i'm going to use the k uh, k nearest neighbor classifier i need to go ahead and import that so i'm going to go here up here and i'm going to say from sk this will be sk learn dot uh neighbors sklearn dot neighbors we're going to import uh, i'm going to import k k nearest neighbors so i'm going to import k uh k neighbors classifier just like that and i'm going to run that so i'm going to move down here and i'm going to say k and n is going to be equals to k nearest classifier just to create a classifier simply like that now we need to pass in how many uh how many neighbors it should classify again I'm, i already have the tutorial on the basics of an a k and n and i'm going to leave a link in the description so i'm going to go into depth about all the neighbors and all this uh technical uh, stuff so i'm just going to say the neighbors to be for now i'm going to say to be five later on we'll see how we can optimize to get the best value to have the neighbors on so i'm going to press and uh, run that and i'm going to do knn.fit i'm going to fit our model and i'm going to pass in x underscore train and y underscore train to train our model and then run that and this is simply going to train our model so now we can check the score of our model so knn.score just like that and i'm going to pass in the x underscore tests and then the y underscore test this what we're simply doing here is basically checking the accuracy of the model basing on the test scores how it perform performs with data that it has never seen so let's check how it performs and we have this about 64 percent accuracy so that's great so let's go ahead and go and, and tune our model furthermore so one parameter we can tune our model on is the number of neighbors that we use in our uh, this parameter right here so let's go ahead and see what's uh tweak this model to find the best parameter for that so i'm just going to say i can put a bit of code here uh, markdown here let's say tuning uh model uh model sensitivity tuning model sensitivity uh tuning sensitivity of the model 
So we're going to be tuning our model against the uh, number of n, uh, this parameter here. So I'm just simply going to copy this, copy it, and I'm just going to paste it here. So I'm just going to use a markdown to make it look much prettier. So just like that. And you're going to tune our model against the num uh, number of neighbors. So we're going to create a range. So we're going to say k underscore range. And this is going to be equals to, uh, we're going to create a Python range. And you're going to search from 1 to uh, 20. Uh, we can even say 1 to 30 or 1 to 25 if you want and then i'm going to say uh for k in uh k underscore range what you're simply going to do we're going to create a k and n model which is going to be a k nearest neighbors model so we're going to create a k near classifier and we say number of uh number of neighbors and uh, number of neighbors is so number of neighbors and you're going to say number of neighbors is going to be k and then you're going to say k and n dot fit you're going to fit this model and you're going to say x underscore train and then you're going to say y underscore train so we're going to iterate through to find the best performing uh, uh value for the n number of neighbors okay that's what we're basically doing here so we're going to say uh score uh, we're going to create a variable called score and uh, scores dot append so scores are supposed to be a list so i'm going to uh, create a going to be scores and this is going to be an empty list we're going to say an empty list uh, this dot append and i'm presumably going to append uh k and n dot score i'm going to get the score passing in passing it against x underscore uh, this is going to be test and then comma uh, y underscore test just like the way we did it right here right so we're going to do the same and it's going to give us an accuracy of the model just like this you're going to store it in this list so now that we have that the list will contain the list or the list of all the figure uh, the accuracy of our model so i want to go ahead and plot this out so i'm going to use uh, uh i'm going to use matplotlib so i'm going to go up here and then plot and uh, import matplotlib so i'm going to say from matplotlib dot uh, pyplot import uh, plt okay uh right so uh, this is actually an error here so i'm going to say uh, import uh, matplotlib is going to be as plt so we're going to import uh import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and you're going to move down here what you're going to simply say we're going to say plt dot i'm uh, going to create a figure so instead of this figure right you're going to create a figure right here so let me get the spelling of figure right so figure uh now that you have that i'm going to do plt dot x label and i'm going to say the x label is going to be k k uh count and I'm also doing group plt dot y level. So the y level is going to be the uh, I'm going to call it, this is going to be the model accuracy, right? So model accuracy, just like that. And I'm going to do plt dot uh, scatter plot. I'm going to create a scatter plot here, and I'm going to pass in k underscore range, and then the scores k. Okay? So now that I have that, I can, I can even do a plt. I'm going to do a plt uh, plt dot grid. I'm going to give it a grid so this we can see this but better so i'm going to plt dot x i'm going to say also x sticks and i'm going to pass in the value for the x sticks and i'm going to say uh let me just say this would be zero it will be ranges of five and then 10 and then 15 and then 20 and then 30 just like that and i'm going to simply do a uh, plt dot show just like that and then i can go ahead and run this code so let me see uh score is not defined so it's called it scores okay so this will be scores and also here should be scores okay run that and this is going to change for us a model so you can see this is the accuracy of our model and this is the number of k k count so you can see as k count goes here the model becomes uh, performs poorly okay so let's see what's the best k count for the i think the base is around like uh three so you can also make this to be in interactive mode and then you can be able to see that properly so you can go ahead here and then you can make this to be interactive mode so you can just put in that magic method uh, method so you can say uh percentage sign uh, it's going to be math math plot lib matplot let me just matplot uh matplotlib uh notebook just like that i hope that's it so if i just scroll down here i can just run this again and i think it should give us an interactive graph so if i uh, scroll down and i go this side you can see uh or you can see on this side x is around uh three right so x is three so we should use the neighbor number of k count should be three so that's the best and you get the best accuracy for our model around 83.5 percent accuracy so let's go ahead and actually 
use a uh, three years so we can go into a model and then we can change this to be uh let me just find where our model is here and we can change this to be three and then we can train that class if again we can get an accuracy of 83.33 uh, okay so you can see how we can tune that uh, parameter so i also want to tune that one more parameter and the parameter i want to tweak, uh, tweak is the how we should uh, the value that we, we should use for training and testing set so we can go ahead and actually tweak the parameter for that as we did for this one so i'm going to say um i'm going to say test underscore sizes and this is going to be a list it's going to have the following so i'm going to say 0 0.8 and then 0 0.7 and then 0 0.6 and then 0 0.5 and then 0 0.4 0 0.3 and then 0 0.2 and then 0. Point, uh, i can even use 0 0.1 if i want yeah and then from there i can go i can create a classifier so i'm going to take uh, knn it's going to be equals to knn classifier just like that and i'm going to now specify the num any, any, any random number of uh, neighbors so i'm going to say k uh, n neighbors and i'm going to say by default i'm going to use five for the first time and i'm going to do uh i'm going to now uh, go to a follow-up so i'm going to say for uh test underscore size uh in test uh test underscore sizes so i'm going to look through that and for each of them i'm going to create a score so i'm going to score and i'm going to uh, score is going to be an empty list and then i'm going to create another loop here so i'm going to say for i in range from one to one thousand okay from one to one thousand and then what i'm going to simply do i'm going to simply let me just move this up here i'm going to say uh x underscore train uh x underscore test y underscore train and then comma y underscore test and this is going to be equals to a uh, train underscore test split and i'm going to pass in x uh, comma y and then i'm going to say that this one will be test underscore size is going to be um the uh, test set is going to be one minus uh this test underscore size just like that and i'm going to go ahead and, and then use that the uh, that split the uh, split way of splitting to train our model so i'm going to train our model on x underscore train and then y underscore train and then from after training our model we're able to get the score so i'm going to append this to our scores list so i'm going to call this let me actually call it scores and i'm going to scores here dot append and i'm going to append the test underscore size comma uh sorry so this is going to be uh so this is going to be uh, knn dot um score and then i'm going to pass in x underscore test and then y underscore test just like that so now, now that I've appended the scores in there, I can go ahead and actually make a plot here. So I'm going to create a figure, a, 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 a mat plot loop figure here. So I'm going to say figure, just like we did previously. So I'm going to create a figure here, and I'm simply going to come down and going to plt dot uh, plot. I'm going to simply make a plot here, and I'm going to, I'm going to create test uh, underscore size, and I'm going to pay np uh, uh, numpy dot mean uh, dot mean, and I'm going to pass in the mean of the of the scores yeah that's what i'm going to do so after passing in that i'm going to now go ahead and say plt dot uh, x label and then x label is going to be you can say uh training training uh split training split tra training split maybe i can say training split percentage and then you can do pl plt uh dot uh i can do y label and the y label is simply going to be uh, i can say the accuracy of our model so say accuracy just like that and then we yeah and guys you can see that uh it's done so you can see this uh the best performing uh give us uh, the best split is around here so 70 percent so we should use uh 70 70 percent for our data for training and the rest percent we should use is for testing so uh we use 30 percent for testing and then 20 percent for training so according to the data it will give us the best uh, accuracy so now that we have that we can go ahead and actually tweak our model so i'm going to go here and then tweak that model so this is going to be uh three percent this is going to be uh, uh the number of neighbors for our model 
just try to find the number of neighbors here the number of neighbors is already three so we can go ahead and split that this and then we can go ahead and actually make and you can see our, our prediction actually drops so it's better if you leave it at two okay let's just leave that two and see how it performs so sometimes this can be a wrong prediction so you have to just try it out and see what works best so i think two works best so i'm going to leave it at two and by the way you can also use this if you want uh, just check it out and then you can check the prediction so the difference is very small about uh just uh 0.5 i point 0 0.05 so uh, i think three uh using 20 percent for testing is better so now let's go ahead and actually now that you have a model built let's go ahead and actually make prediction so say make uh make make predictions just like that so uh make prediction is just going to test uh make prediction to our data to, to our model to see the performance of the model so i'm going to do uh, predictions and i'm going to call i'm going to do knn dot predict and i'm going to pass in my x underscore test because it's our test sample and then i can get the prediction so if i do predictions and then i check it out and you can see the prediction if i do y underscore test i can go ahead and com compare those predictions so you can see it was one here it is one here it was two it was two it was one it was one so you can see the model is quite good so now that we, there's even a better way to visualize this and we're going to use a confusion matrix to visualize if you know the confusion matrix is i have a whole series on my youtube channel about confusion matrices so if you're interested you can go and check out that video on how confusion matrices work and how to interpret them i'm not going to go into depth about confusion matrices confusion matrices in this tutorial so i'm going to say from sklearn sklearn uh, dot matrix i'm going to import uh confusion underscore matrix just like that and i'm going to import that so i'm going to scroll to the very bottom and i'm going to create a confusion matrix i'm going to call this a cn and this is going to be a uh, confusion matrix so i'm going to say a uh, confusion matrix just like that i'm going to say confusion which i've just imported and i'm going to pass in the truth value which is going to be y underscore the test uh y let me just close that properly y underscore test and then the prediction again if you're not if you're not familiar with what, what the confusion matrix is i have a whole tutorial on confusion matrix on my youtube channel and you can go and check about confusion matrices how to interpret them how to use them to evaluate the uh, efficiency of your model so you can see this is uh, a confusion matrix so uh, i want to i want to visualize it because i can read this out right because these are the truth values and down uh, are the prediction values so let's use a confusion matrix uh, a heat map to visualize it so i'm going to create a figure here so i'm going to say plt dot figure and I'm going to use my fig, uh, fig size, and this is going to be a tuple. I'm going to pass in uh, 8 by 7, so 8 by 7, just like this. And I'm going to say uh, C bones, I'm going to import C bones. So I'm going to go ahead and import C bones. So I'm going to say uh, import C bone, C bone as SNS. So let me just write that. And I'm going to move down, I'm going to say uh, SNS.heatmap. Again, I have a whole tutorial on this. So, if you, to, if you want to check it out, you can check it out on my YouTube channel. The link is going to be in the description. So, I know it's going to be true. I know it's going to be true because I want to be able to see the numbers. Okay, and I've explained this in my tutorial on how to create a heat map. So, I'm going to a plt pl plt dot title. The title is going to be um, let's say con confusion matrix, just like that. And then I'm going to do a plt dot uh, y level. So the y label is going to be the truth so the y label are going to be the truth and then plt uh, dot x label and i'm going to specify the prediction so the x level is going to be the prediction and i'm going to do a plt dot show just like that and i can run my code and i can see the confusion matrix right here so this is our confusion matrix so you can see this right here we have transferred it into a confusion matrix that we can actually uh visualize so i can see it's a bit cut off let me just see a uh, bit I, I don't know why it's a bit cut off but let me try to uh, maximize this uh it's still cut off i don't know why let me see maybe i did an error somewhere so confusion matrix are not uh Okay, let me just uh, let me think. Let me just uh, let me just put this to be ten, and let's see. Uh, it's a bit also cut off. I don't know why that's why that's the case, but uh, I don't know. Even the zoom doesn't really work. So uh, let me see uh, PLT. Let me change this to be. Uh, let me change it to a lower value like four. Let me see how it responds. Yeah. So this would be eight. Uh, this will be eight and this should be let me try to put this a lower value five and then let me see it uh, doesn't really respond to that so uh but 
uh, on my other computer it responses fine so i hope it is also responses on your on your computer so let me change this back to continue so this will be eight and let's see okay it doesn't really respond so on my um, on my other computer it, it worked fine i don't know why uh it's giving us an issue here so let me just maybe i made an error here so plt to figure and for the figure size will be a tuple of eight by eight and then if they done a heat map and then you say plt dot title plt dot x label the y label and plt dot show uh that shouldn't give us an error but it's erroring out so let me just try this out uh, it still give us that error so i don't really know why it's giving out an error on this machine because i haven't run this code on this machine before making this tutorial but you can also use this uh, right here to interpret our graph so uh for for uh for eight times for eight times here so this here is actually eight so for eight times the truth was uh, uh the, the truth level was zero and our prediction was zero for eight times okay and then for 13 times the truth was one and our, mod uh, our model predicted for 13 times um, our truth was one and our model predicted one okay and then for uh for two times uh when the, for the truth label the truth was one and our model predicted well the, sorry the label was two and our model predicted two nine times okay so here the label was one and our model predicted one 13 times so the truth and then the prediction so it was one our model predicted one 13 times and then here uh the truth was uh the model the label was zero and our uh, prediction was zero for eight times okay so you can see our model is doing quite well uh so it's a really good model so yeah that's basically it for how to use a kn and classifier to classify your model so uh yeah that's it for the uh this tutorial so i'm going to end the tutorial here and one thing before i end this tutorial one thing i want to know i want to tell you guys about the kn uh, classifier is that it's a lazy learner meaning that it has to load the data into memory every time it needs to pre make predictions they can this can make it slow so uh, be careful when trying to use uh, this one thing you need to put into consideration when using the KNN, uh, KNN model. And also one thing is a low value of KNN, let's say like one, uh, makes them makes them more a model more likely to overfit the data so if you have a a, a k of one means a neighbor of one uh, that makes the data to be uh, the model to likely overfit so that's basically what uh, a knn model is this are uh, some disadvantages of the k and n one of, one of the things i like about the knn is very simple to interpret and also very simple model if you understand the logic behind it and again i have a whole tutorial explain the logic behind how the uh, knn works and the mathematics behind knn so if you want to check out the tutorial please check out the tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel for more videos like this thanks for watching uh, see you in the next one keep safe